Good Am word. I about me. Talk. Yeah. 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 Messi. Well, <laughs>to another episode. Thank you so much for being here. If today's your first time, you know what to do. Make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button and make sure you get involved. Now on today's episode, I have the official advocate general for unsigned talent. Let's put a capital S on that screen for Mr. Robert Bruce. Whenever I see this guy that's in front of me right now, I'm happy because I know there's something to talk about. Something's coming in the building with me. It's Stormzy. Yo. Yes, no, it's a Stormzy. yes, my brother. Another legend with me in the building, Lethal B. It's none yes. other than NSG. Come on. <laughs> I'm seeing in the video, Steph London. You've never had an intro like that, right? I've never had an intro in my life. <laughs> Stop. He is like, oh my God. That's wow. me. Is that me? Are you sure? Man, how are you? I'm not too bad for you. It is so you? awkward for you right now because you're on the other side yeah. of this interview, right? Yeah, this is a position I'm not used to being in. I'm even shocked. I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting the schedule thinking, Robert Bruce, see that? <laughs> <It's me." laughs> now, we have so much that we want to talk about. And on this show, we simply have an interview, play a few games. But most importantly, we want to know a bit about you. So let's just, t why don't we start? Tell us how you got into radio. How I got into radio. Well, my passion for radio started when I was in secondary school. Okay. I started a online radio broadcast. I remember I had, you know them Tesco headsets? Yeah. Them like call center headsets. Yeah, yeah, and I had yeah. one and I loved tech and I managed to start an online broadcast. And I remember my first show, I think I had 10 friends listen, listening. I played Kinney Big Deal and one of my oh. friends commented on the thing and I thought I was like, I thought I'd I'm made it. Made I come to school the next day like, yeah, did you lock in? Yeah. <laughs> it was a, so that was going back yeah. 10 years, if not wow. 11 years ago. And then I never knew how to get into radio, how to get into media, but I went to uni, I was studying broadcast journalism, and I joined the student radio at University of Leeds. And that just changed my life. I had a show with my best friend. It was called Spice UK. And then after that, we had a girl join us, my now girlfriend as well, and we did that for three wow. years. We were playing, I think it was Spice UK, bringing you the hottest flavors from the Afro-Caribbean scene. Wow. So just representing. So I did that for four years, worked for BBC Introducing, but that was in, um, that was in like the producing side, so not in front of the mic. And just before I graduated, I was scouted by Capital Extra. And then wow. that's how that started about three years ago. Come on, let's clap for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, All in, and that's, that's such a short, like time period, because a lot of people have much longer years to get what you've achieved. So that's like some real good stuff. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And like, is this, is radio something you've always wanted to do? Did you just kind of fall into it? Radio, I remember when I got my first radio shout out, shout out Robert Ranks. Okay. I was listening to his dance hall show on One Extra. And I remember he gave me a shout out. I think the song was Movado Pepper. And I was just again, Gas, like I didn't understand, like yeah. wow, someone just said my name on the radio. And I remember from that moment, that's when I thought, nah, I wanna give someone else that mm. feeling sort mm. of thing. So yeah, I've always been pointing towards radio, not knowing how to or yeah. who to contact, how you get in and stuff like that. And then you just hear, just have hear, one of yeah. the biggest shows on Capital Extra. Yeah, yeah, we can say that. <laughs> yeah. He's, try, he's trying to be humble. <laughs> don't, don't try to be humble, is it? <laughs> can say that. No, nah, there's a lot of good work. There's a lot yeah. of good work over there. Like, the team is very strong. Your Instagram account is probably the only account where I can go to and see every celebrity on one page. <laughs> like, literally. There's just all these pictures of Robert Bruce and every A-list celebrity. To be fair, UK musicians, yeah. I'll yeah, take that. Yeah. UK musicians. There's a few celebrities in there as well. Okay. But that's just all to the work, man. Like, yeah. if I've interviewed you, it'll go up. Sort that's of it. Nah, good look. Good look. Now, you obviously know a thing or two about music, and we are going to go into our first game. Okay. <laughs> He's that bad. It's going to be very awkward if you get this wrong. Okay. Because I mean, so you, you play their songs like all that. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. This game is called Finish the Lyric. I'll give you um, a line or two from a song, and you need okay. to finish just the first, the next two words or so. All right. Yeah? First one is, she asked if I got a girl. I said, how many? How many men change? 
too many. Cheers! Oh, you, you do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, know this. this. Okay, wait, <laughs> in, wait, in, wait, in, wait, in, wait, in, wait, in. Wait, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get harder now. Oh, okay. Yeah? yeah? All right, now I'm playing. All right. Let's go. My young boy got the stick like Moses with the Israelites telling them up, boys. It's on site. Yes. yes. Of course. Of yes. Course. Shout out Heady, yeah. number one. Shout out Heady, number one and all of that. Heady, if you're watching this, I need you on this show, yeah? Robert, you might want to put in a word or so yeah, for me, I'm yeah? I'm a word, I'm a right. word. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> okay. Run man down. I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it differently, <laughs> so he got... Okay. Run man down in my Jordans. Run man down in my... Air Force One. Run man down in my Jordans. Run man down in my... Is it? You said Jordans. Bowman drop? No. Mm-hmm. Run the man down in my Jordans. Run down in my. Messi. <laughs> <laughs> you skipped like one shirt of the whole song. Oh, run it down. Run it You're down almost down. there. I'm telling you. Run the man down in my Nike Air ones. No, run the man down in my Jordans. Run the Nah. You, you, trust me, you said it. You just need the second Am word. Bow me. Top. Yeah. 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 Messi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen. All right. Next one. These are the days we prayed for. The sun still shines on me. Hey. Governor B, these are the days. Yes. All right. You ready for the next one? Ready. And the final one. And the final. Let's say so if you get clean sweep. Clean Let's sweep. Go. Let's, Let's go. go. Didn't even notice. No punches left to roll with. Didn't even notice. Why is this sounding like Adele? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Didn't even notice. No punches left to roll. Oh, can I phone a friend? Can I get a tip on? You can get one bit of support from Lisa. One. One. We can't give... No, I'm going to give you a clue. Okay. Meow. What? (laughs) I like that. (laughs) Meow. Did it even That could be part of the artist's name. Yeah, part of the artist's name. Meow. And... Yeah. um, (laughs) Didn't even notice... No punches left to roll with. So we're talking potentially Doja Cat. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Did I say Doja? Um, you did say it, okay. and maybe you should keep it. Yo. Just maybe. Did it even notice? It's like that. Nah, I can't. I can't. Whoa. I don't even know. Did it even notice? You got notice? the artist. Yeah. You got the artist. You got Let to keep me focused. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't have got that. No? I wouldn't have got that, I wouldn't have got that. Nah, he got the, nah, nah. got the artist. So we give him half a point. You see, he half took me away point. from the UK and I crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Robert, you are in a... I'm just going to go, you touched on it briefly, um, that the, the lady you're with now is the lady that you started in radio with um, many, many moons ago, or years ago, as they say. Now, you're in a very public... Uh, relationship. Hey, is it public? <laughs> we know. Bruh. Well, we be snooping around your okay, career. Okay, okay. And tell me, how do you balance having sort of like a thriving, budding career with uh, a sort of a relationship? Um, I don't know. Because I was in the relationship before the career, Okay. there's no, like, Robert Bruce, the brand is not a thing yeah. in my relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've seen each other at our highest and at our lowest. There's mm-hmm. no facade there's no front that has to be put up and whatnot and at the end of the day like friendship is the best relationship and obviously we grew from being friends was friends at uni for three years before we even got together Mm -hmm. so for me it's just like having a best friend so i don't even have to think about it like hey we're doing ours as well guys (laughs) let's stop the broadcast (laughs) okay yeah man it's like having a best friend i've never thought about Oh, I'm in the public eye and I'm in a relationship. Mm-hmm. We did go for a period without posting each other though. Okay. Yeah, in the early stages, just because I didn't want people up in my business. Yeah, but of course. when something's a part of your life and you work a public facing job, it's hard to not 
share rule of it. Yeah, we're gonna see you in Hakkasan somewhere eating. Hey, Hakka! And a paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> he said Hakka! He said Hakka! Hey, you oh, yeah, found okay. me in Aroma. <laughs> aroma? Does that still exist? <laughs> aroma. I'm joking, that's the worst one that came to mind. Aroma! No, Aroma bangs though. Yeah, back aroma. in the day, there was a sweet spot. Yeah, yeah. There was Aroma a time. bangs. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Roma Ben. I think, I'm sure I went there for like my 13th birthday. Something like that. I told you there was a sweet spot. There was a sweet spot. All right. Now, I'm aware that you have a degree. Yes. And you have a degree in broadcasting journalism. Yep. Now, obviously, you are in, in of, of, of African descent. Now, that was probably not the most favorable degree that you decided to pick yeah. from where your parents would have sort of come from. Tell me a bit about that. So I'll give you the, the setup, the backstory. Yep. My sister is a PhD student, now uni is in a lecturer, in a, now lectures in a university. Robert, you have <laughs> found me! You have found me! Her picture is up in the center of the <laughs> room. Yours is in the downstairs yeah. toilet. <laughs> I don't even think mine's up, mine's up behind the chair. <laughs> stuff. So that no. was the setup. So I thought, okay, maybe I'm gonna be that sort of academically inclined. So mm -hmm. when I went to sixth form, I picked maths, biology, English language, and psychology. Mm -hmm. Soon found out those maths and biology, <laughs> yeah, it, was just, it wasn't for me sort wow. of thing. So you go through this period of like, what am I going to do? Who am I going to be? Is everyone going to be proud of me sort mm. of thing? And I went through it so much, I got to the point of frustration. And I remember I was watching the news of my mum and there was someone reporting, you know, war, like it was a war going on. I think it might have been Syria, I'm not too sure but it looked like chaos, it looked manic. And she was like reporting and scared. And I knew my mum was scared and I was angry at that point. I was like, that's what I want to do in my life. I'm going to go be a journalist, wow. sort of thing. But then thinking about it, like I've always been into speaking. I like news. Yep. I like reading to a certain aspect. So mm -hmm. broadcast journalism didn't make sense for me, to okay. be fair. Wow. And I guess now, they look back at what you've done and they're happy, right? Yeah. It's yeah, all parents, yeah. right? It starts, you shouldn't do this, but have you seen my yeah. son? <laughs> you know the parties when your parents go and they're like, you know my son? Yeah, he's on the radio. <laughs> okay, he's on the radio. Wow. Yeah. Now, nah, well done. That is some like. Tando trivia! Yes. <laughs> I'm waiting for this. <laughs> Robert, you know what Tando trivia is? I know what Tando trivia is. You do? I do. Do you think you'd be good at it? Debatable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tando Trivia, this is a fire round. I'll give you 45 seconds on the clock and I'll ask you a series of questions. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Your time starts now. As of 2020, who was the richest man in the world? A, Bill Gates, B, The Rock, or C, Jeff Bezos? Jeff Bezos. Correct. Which rap duo joined forces to release the album Watch The Throne in 2011? A, Jay-Z and Nas, B, Jay-Z Jay and, and Kanye. Correct. Outcasts are made up of two members, Big Boy and who? A, Andre, Andre 3000. Correct. What does BBC stand for? A, British Broadcasting Corporation, Br British Broadcasting Company, or Britain's Broadcasting Corporation? British Broadcasting Corporation. Correct. How many countries are there in the United Kingdom? A4, B3, or C2? Three. <sighs> no, nope. four, 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 four. I take four. the first answer. Four, four. In TV sitcom, who loves orange soda? A, Kel, B, Keenan, or C, Chris? Soda. Kel. Correct. In what, what is the day after Chris? Can you finish it? Yeah, 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 yeah you can finish <laughs> What day after, what is the day after Christmas day known as? Boxing it, day. Yeah. Okay. okay. That was good. I've been looking forward to that for time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, what did Mr. Robert Bruce get? Let me know. Six. Where does that put me in the rankings? You're going to have to know at the end of the season. I don't want to tell you now, okay. and then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm sick, I'm third, and then you're eighth. And yeah, then you're like, yeah, no, it's true. So, you know, it's going to be a bit awkward, yeah? So <laughs> let's, let's leave it like that, yeah? All right, are you ready for the second game? I'm ready. You're ready, yeah? yeah. All right, cool. Now this one is called Guess the Artist. I said Guess the Artist. Guess the Artist. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to say something and you need to tell me which artist this is. Cool. Yeah? You should know, you deal with artists all day. Okay, first one. Keep it, keep it easy for this one, yeah? Okay. I'm from the nine and everyone knows when they ask in the interview, I say I don't know. Keisha and Fecky. Think I'm deluded. 
but your mind. <laughs> I said, hmm. No Nige is where I'm rooted. That must be T on Wayne. Hundred yeah. percent. It must be T on Wayne. It's incorrect, bro. It's incorrect. Yeah. So who is it? I don't know. It's T on Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's correct. Told you I start easy. Okay. Yeah? Cool. 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 Next cool. one. I told a bad girl that I need her love, but she didn't like my energy, and to me to stay f and told me to stay far away. But I don't give up easy because I love my brown skin girls. Whiz kid. Yeah. Whiz kid. That one, I could have been shaky. Yeah, shaky, yeah. yeah. shaky. But you got there. Whiz, yeah, I gave yeah, it to yeah. the end, though. I gave yeah, it to yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, you love yeah, my poems. Yeah. I made yeah, this up. Yeah, really good, man. Thanks, man. You did the spoken word thing as well. I heard that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Next one. My mum. Always, why do I talk like that? My <laughs> mum. <laughs> my mum always tells me, never forget your P's and Q's. But Sally said, forget that. You're a top boy. You have an excuse from rap to acting. I do it all. Like the Shane B. Moldy boys rule. <laughs> Kano's. Yes. yes. Royalty. <laughs> Now, that, I just, you know, I like you in it, so I had to okay. switch it up and create like mm. an easy one. I had harder ones, but okay. obviously I don't want to do that to you, get me? I appreciate that's, that. Yeah, you know I mean, like you got a big platform, I don't need to put it out there <laughs> that I did that, everyone starts atting me yeah. abuse, so I had to keep it. Now, tell me, with the, of late, there is huge, huge emphasis on black culture, the whole Black Lives Matter movement. Now, tell me, how important is it for you to highlight black culture and everything you do? It's so important now, like in 2020, I feel like a lot of the world has seen what we've experienced for our whole entire lives. Mm -hmm. And it's been new for them, but it's been the same old story for us. So yeah. when everything's been kicking off and all the uprisings and the movements, I've noticed a lot of our people were tired before it even started this yeah. time around, when it felt like all of our allies wanted to rally around. So it's really important to tell our story, tell our experience and tell our previous experience as well. Because I've been telling people, if you ask me and a boy that went to my school that's not black, what do you know about black British history? Technically, by education, we both don't know anything because yeah. they didn't teach us anything yeah. in school. So it's so important for content creators, people in the media, whatever platform you have, even if you do have your nine to five job and you're there and you're present to tell your story because mm. that's the sort of way that we're going to begin to break the cycle. So yeah. it's really important that we use our wow. voice. And what a platform you have to, to obviously showcase that sort of stuff. And another thing that I'm, I'm really, that strikes me as a really, really positive thing for you is your interest in up and coming talent. Now, I, you know, you know probably more than I do that when you start things up, it's never easy, right? Getting your, your tune on the radio, like Capital Extras, is huge. And that's a huge platform. So tell me why, why have you got so much interest in that? Why is there so much interest in upcoming talent? It's just about creating pathways, man, creating mm -hmm. opportunities. I know how important a cosign is mm -hmm. in like in this life. And yeah. imagine giving someone that little bit of vim that makes them go on to be great or yeah, yeah. that makes them become the next biggest thing in the whole entire mm -hmm. world. And we all know what it's like when no one's checking for us. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When you're pushing and you're striving and it just feels like no inroad. So me with the platform I've been blessed with, it's all about passing on the blessing as well. That's why I'm always checking for young emerging artists. And like some artists are telling stories that a lot of people aren't listening to, but through the medium of music, music's so powerful, yeah. these stories are being heard as well. Mm -hmm. So I love discovering new artists. I love helping wow. new artists along with their journey. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do it to more, like, if you know me, my communication gets so bad at times because <laughs> I am trying and really trying to push in the little sphere of influence that I can. But yeah, mm -hmm. man, just big someone up every now and again. Give yeah. someone an opportunity. No, that's amazing. And, and, and that's, I guess, that's part of the reason why your platform has done, as, you know, as well as it has, because a lot of people are now looking at this and saying, you know what? I'm going to start that music career because I have a Robert Bruce out there that will potentially play my track. And, yeah. and, you know, and I'm sure there is many artists that, because of what you've done, have put them in the places that there are. So, you know, hats off to you, man. That's Thank a really, really good, a good thing. Now, we're going to play another game. And the reason why we're going to play another game is because I've been going through your Instagram. Okay. Let me unlock my phone. 
Oh, my password. I'm not looking, don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So I've got three pictures yeah. um, that I've taken from your Instagram and they, they strike to me as uh, a really good thing. And all I want to know is, I want you to tell me more. So it's not really a game. It's just okay. tell me more. Tell me the story, the background of this picture, yeah? So, um, interesting. That's me in the gym with my six pack. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> this is the this is the first picture. The first picture. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me what the story is of that picture. The story of this picture. Capital Extra Homegrown Live yep. in Croydon. Artists from the, around the UK, your favourite artists come all for one night underneath Capital Lecture Homegrown Live. And in 2018, we launched the Homegrown Show on Capital Lecture. It was wow. Saturday, played music on the playlist and off the playlist. And from 2018, that's when I started interviewing. So we did an interview once a week for about two years, two and a half. And then this year sort of messed up. So once a week, we did an interview. So to see that show grow from a three hour show on a Saturday, to big venues and we've been to like other places, the, we've been to Coco, we've been to Shepherd's Bush and then Box Park in Croydon. Wow. And this was the first one I believe that I hosted on my own as well. So wow. it's a real point. Yeah, all right, today. nice, all right. Are you sure that was like in the moment or did you pose for this one? <laughs> no, that was in the like moment. A, Look at sure? my lip, is quivering. <laughs> 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 all right, next one. This one was probably one of my favorite pictures that I saw. Why? Because I just thought, wow, look at the, the, the glow up, you know, mm. from, from there to this picture to where you are now. Tell me a bit more about this one. So this one was when I first started on the station. So as I mentioned wow. before, I was at uni in Leeds. So I was doing the overnight Friday show, which is like 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. So that looks like getting a coach from Leeds to London in Thursday daytime, sleeping, doing the Friday 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. show, and then getting the first back up, Lee's first back, hey! <laughs> Start again. Getting the first coach back up to Lee's yeah. into the library, finish off the degree, and I think they gave me like a week of cover this time, so wow. that's what that represents. Man, the first time on Capital Extra, you must have been shaking your in. I was sweating, <laughs> that's first and foremost. Even thinking about it gives me chills now. Yeah. <laughs> And the last one, all about giving back. Tell me more about this picture. Oh, this is a cool picture. People don't normally pick up on these sorts of stuff. So whilst at uni, before mm -hmm. the radio stuff, I did a summer school at News UK. So they mm -hmm. own like the Times, the Sunday Times. Wow. And you got a chance to go on and be published. And I did lots of stuff with the newspaper moving forward from there, even like at uni and doing features and stuff. And this was a summer school that happened like, I think three, four years after me. Wow. So I got to go back and then talk to the kids. And I say the kids, me too, I'm a kid. <laughs> I got to talk to them and I love this sort of stuff because as I was saying before about giving an opportunity, giving a platform, you know what it's like to be young and so full of life, but yeah. not know the direction. Yeah, yeah, so just to see the greatness in people and call it out and be like, you can go and do this, you will be all right. I was here not so long ago. I really like this picture. Wow. You know what? One thing I need to say to you, you need to red, run for Prime Minister. <laughs> Studio crew, give it up for Robert <laughs> Bruce! Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. No, do you know what? Keep doing everything you're doing, man. That is, that is amazing to see. It's, it's, so, it's so humbling to see the way you're putting people on. And trust me, I'm sure that many people around the world are definitely appreciating everything you've done. So thank you so much. And most importantly, thank you so much for being on the Mr. Tando Show. Thank you for having me. Hi, right. MT family on that note. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure you've enjoyed this episode equally as much as I have today. I had the amazing Robert Bruce. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you join in in the comments. I'm Mr. Tando, yo. This is Robert Bruce, and this is the Mr. Tando Show. Yes! Wow! Man! Thank you very much. That was cool, man. That was really good. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Robert Bruce right here. I've just been on the Mr. Tando show. Threw me a few curveballs in there, but we had a lot of fun, man. Make sure you watch, subscribe, hit that bell as well. You know what to do.